40s, and then he kind of disappeared for a while. Uh, there, there was a recording ban that went into effect in 1942, and um, when it, uh, when it, it was related to, um, to, to availability of vinyl, I believe, and, and World War II. When the ban was lifted, country blues was done. You know, that moment had passed, and, uh, and the musicians were, were retired or, or were playing in the city, and it was, it was no longer country blues, it was urban blues. Um, but Sunhouse, he, he recorded first in 1930, and then he recorded in 1941 and then 42, and then he just, he disappeared. He, uh, he worked as a train porter and as a barbecue chef, and he moved from Mississippi up to uh, Rochester, New York, where, uh, in the 1960s, a group of a group of, of blues fans left New York, and went to Mississippi to try to find some house, and wound up tracing their way back to about two hours from, from where they had where they started from. And Sun, he he was a, he had some some difficult aspects to him. He was a, uh, a hopeless alcoholic, and I, I think um, his. In, in some ways, the musician that he could have been was, was marginalized by that. But throughout his, 